Hey there. Today we're going to learn how to convert metric units. Uh, now before we start converting, uh, we need to familiarize ourselves with the metric units. And there are three basic metric units that we have. We have the gram, we have the meter, and we have the liter. And all three of these are what's known as our basic units. Um, in addition to these basic units, we have larger and we have smaller units that have the same root word, but different prefixes. So let's start with the larger of those units. We, we have a K for kilo, kilo, as in kilogram or kilometer. We have an H for hecta, and we have a D for deca. And all of these units would be larger than any of these units. So one kilogram would be larger than one gram. And then we also have smaller units as well. We have another D for deci, as in a decimeter. We have a C for centi. And we have an M for milli. Now, some of these prefixes are used more commonly than others, some you might never see used, but you need to be familiar with all of them in order to convert. Because we need to have what's known as kind of a map as far as um, from kilo to milli on how to move. Now we also need a place for our basic units. So I'm gonna put a U right there and that's gonna basically stand for our basic units. But we need to remember that the U could be G for gram, it could be M for meter, or it could be an L for liter. So all of those fall under the U space. Um, there's a few acronyms that might help you remember the order of these. The one that I like to use is King Henry died unexpectedly drinking chocolate milk. Um, King Henry died unexpectedly drinking chocolate milk. And if you can remember that phrase, then you can remember all of the metric units in order. And the reason their order matters is because the metric system is what's known as a base 10 system, which means that units to the left are 10 times greater than the units to the right. So if I had, let's say, one meter, I would have 10 decameters, I would have 100 hectometers, and I would have a thousand kilometers. In addition to that, if I'm getting smaller, I'm really taking one-tenth of the value to the right, so, or other value to the left. So a de one decimeter would be one-tenth of a meter, one centimeter would be one one-hundredth of a meter, and one millimeter would be one one-thousandth of a meter. So really, all I'm doing is I'm multiplying or dividing by powers of 10 to go from unit to unit. And what's really good and nice about dividing or multiplying by powers of 10 is that I really just need to move my decimal point. So let's give an example as if I had one kilogram and I wanted to know how many grams that is. Well, if I look up here, I know that one kilogram is equal to a thousand grams. So I know that that's my answer, but how did I come up with that? Well, I really just had to move my decimal point the same number of times that I had to move up here to get from kilograms to grams. So if I look, I was, I was given kilograms, so I start in K, and I move one, two, three spaces to get to my grams unit, which was my basic unit. So if I take that same number and I move my decimal the same number of times, I'm going to end up with my answer. Well, I don't see a decimal in the number one, but I know that a decimal can fall right after the one's place in any number. So I'm going to move that decimal one, two, three times. It's new places right there. And now I have one, two, three blank spaces that I need to annex zeros in, and that would give me 1,000 grams. Well, you might be wondering, well, how do I know which way do I need to move the decimal in order to get the correct answer? 
Let's look at another example. This time we'll move from a smaller unit to a larger unit. So let's say that I have 237 centimeters, and I want to know how many meters that is. Um, just a side note, be careful not to confuse the M in meters with the M for milla up here in our answer. So meters would be M, but millimeters would be actually two M's if I were looking for millimeters. So if I'm looking for meters, I'm really trying to get to my basic unit, which was right here. So I'm gonna again start on my map with whatever is given to me. So in this case, they gave me centimeters. So I'm gonna start at centimeters and I'm trying to get two meters, which is under my U and my basic units. And I find that I need to move my decimal point one, two spaces to the left. So if I pull my number down here and I put my decimal point out behind the ones, I need to move that decimal once, twice to the left. And my new number would be two and 37 hundredths of a meter. Let's try a couple more examples. Uh, let's try an example where we have a decimal already in the problem that we have. So let's say I have 39.5 milliliters I want to know how many liters does that equal. So again, I need to find where I start. In this case, it's milli, so my M, and that's where I'm going to begin. And I'm trying to get to liters, which is under my U and my basic unit. So I'm going to move my uh, decimal once, twice, three times to get to U, and it's moving to the left. So I take my decimal point and I'm going to start in the middle of the number. I wouldn't start at the end where I have been because there is a decimal in this problem already. So I need to start wherever my decimal point is. And in this case, I'm going to move it one, two, three times to the left. And again, I need to annex a zero since I have a blank space. And I also want to annex a zero to the left because I want to have a place for my uh, ones place. So I would end up with 0 0.0395 liters. Let's do one more example and this example will make kind of a larger jump. Let's say I have 78 kilometers and I'm trying to get two millimeters. Okay, again, <clears throat> I'm going to start where my K is because that's what I'm given. And I need to move all the way down here to get to millimeters. So I'm going to count that many spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I need to move my decimal point six places as well. Again, I don't have a decimal in this problem, so it's right at the end. And I move it one, two, three, four, five, six places. And I find that I have six zeros that I need to annex in my answer. So my answer ends up being 78 million millimeters.